Welcome everybody to another edition of Pro 93 Home Solutions. Happy Saturday to everybody out there. Hope everyone's doing well. Dennis Purvis here in studio with you here at the lovely brand new Mix 1041 and Buzz 101.3 studios uh as always we're here every week little home and garden show for the local folks whether you're listening to us right now on either of the stations maybe you're streaming us online maybe you're listening on the mix 1041 app or for everybody out there on facebook land you're watching us live on facebook howdy hope everyone's doing well hope everybody's safe everybody's healthy uh just remember Pro 93 Home Solutions, we're here for you. Anything you need from handyman repairs to full remodeling uh, to cleaning for your residential or light commercial. And remember, we also are an authorized retailer of Vivint Smart Home Security Systems. Anything you need for that, give us a call. Our number here local is 423-458-4135. We are local. We're veteran owned. Uh, we would love to uh, help you with your next project. You can find us online at pro93homesolutions.com. But enough about me and my company. Today I am joined in studio by lovely individuals. They're, they wore matching shirts, oh, yeah. which is fantastic. Today we're going to talk about all things painting with Rob and Jeremy. Correct. From Perfect Paint Pros, which we're going to say repeatedly three or four times and see what happens. Uh, but uh, no, Perfect Paint Pros right here in Cleveland. These guys, we've uh, we've worked together. These I've seen their work. They do fantastic work. They uh, priced right, so I'm, I can give a little personal shout out to them. But today we're going to talk about some things maybe you can do to, uh, at home. Things that give you some tips and tricks of the trade. Don't want to give out all your no, no, trade no. secrets. We got okay? a lot. You, I'm sure you do. You know, we we joked a little bit before we came on about everybody thinks they can paint. Right until the time they start to go paint, <laughs> right. you know, rolling. They're like, "Oh yeah, I can roll. I can. Oh, I can get this. I'll do this room in an hour." Yeah, on a lunch break. Yeah, I'll just run home and get my bedroom, <laughs> right. get in a new fresh coat of paint. Then you don't realize how much door casing and trim and window sills and all those things. So I'm sure you guys run into that a lot. Oh yeah, absolutely. So. First and foremost, tell us a little about you guys, Rob, whoever wants to start. You guys, tell us a little bit about you guys and uh, the Perfect Paint Pro story. Yeah. Um, you know, Jeremy and I are from here. We, um, we knew each other in high school. Both went to Cleveland High School. Um, his wife also helps us out. She went to school with us, so definitely the um, family-type business here. But, um, yeah, from Cleveland, born raised here, and um, started painting together kind of professionally in 2005. And then, you know, on and off of that, but been strong here in Cleveland for the last gee, couple of years that we've been doing it here. And yeah, going good. Yeah. Loving Cleveland, loving painting. Got a good, uh, good little niche. Having a good time with it. Yeah, it's, there is, you know, one of the things people can do, probably one of the most cost effective ways. You can kind of spruce up your house. Oh, absolutely, it's a fresh coat of paint everywhere. Yep. Um, when you guys go out, talk to me a little bit about the process with you guys. Somebody gives you a call and says, "I need a quote for some painting." What does that look like when you get out there? What are you? What kind of things are you looking for? What should What should the folks that are listening? What should they be looking for in a painter? Sure. So there's kind of whole different levels of um, kind of I don't know if I want to say quality, but you know how in depth that we go. You know, we're, the projects we're working on this morning, they're putting, you know, kind of putting the lipstick on one because they're putting it on the market to sell it. That's a different thing than if you're painting a house that you're going to live in for the next 10 years. And so when we show up, you know, we start looking at, are you doing just walls? Are you doing the trim? Are you doing crown? Are you doing doors? And those kind of things. Are there some repairs, you know, did kids put up all the posters, you know, in the walls? we got to fill all those holes. So all those things kind of factor in as far as the scope and then whether it's inside or outside and that kind of thing. You, you brought up a good question there. So or a good point there. Do you guys, when I know some folks feel like they have to repair all the nail holes and, and, you know, just lived in dings and, you know, where door stops gave out, sure. you know, just different stuff like that. Are those repairs you guys can do as part of painting? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And so it's just up to the homeowner, how much they want to be involved. If they want just the turnkey operation, we show up, we do it all. Um, if they want to do some prep stuff, so all we do is the painting, that's fine too. 
And then as far as showing up to look at it, you know, we've, you know, some people want an estimate and that kind of thing over the phone, but we like to go and see because there's a lot of questions yes. and things you don't want to go into something like that blind. Um, we, we get that question. Can you just give me a quote over the phone? Mm-hmm. We'd rather not. Yeah. I mean, sure. It's a I'll get, hey, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you 20 grand. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen your house. You know, I haven't seen your house. I don't know how many stories it is. I don't know what the hill. I don't know if I can get my truck up there. You yeah. know, can we get materials? Mm-hmm. I mean, there's so many things that factor in. Absolutely. You know, if you've got to tote paint buckets from, you know, three blocks away to get in <laughs> or up a hill, yeah. um, you know, and there's some nice big new house subdivisions and stuff around this area. Some of these architectural roofs and gables, especially if you guys oh, are doing yeah. exterior, I'm sure that could be a nightmare. There's some complicated ones out there for a sure. A lot of ladder moves. <laughs> a lot you got to factor moves. that in when you're doing you the do. estimate. It's all time. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And so one thing about why I brought that up about repairs is like painting, a lot of folks think, well, I can spackle a hole. I can do dry raw repair. You might be able to. Right. But I can tell you, you and I both and all three of us have seen homeowners repairs that have bought the little repair kits off the big box shelf and they've done it. What it doesn't tell you is about sanding what it doesn't tell you, you know, so you always have that hump in your wall <laughs> yes. where, Oh, that's where it's where, where the door knob is. Yeah. That's right. where the door, that's where junior slew the door open one day. <laughs> right. um, so you guys include that in there. Do you guys charge for estimates? No, no estimates are free. Fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. And what areas do you guys serve? Yeah, we're primarily Cleveland. This is where we know people, you know, we actually don't do that much advertising or anything because it's so much word of mouth and we get booked up. So it keeps us kind of local. Chattanooga, Athens, we do occasional jobs there. We're doing one for you and, yeah. um, in Chattanooga or Hickson. Yes, sir. But, um, you know, that's kind of our realm that we typically stay in. Yeah. Um, you know, got a guy called us the other day who wants to fly us to San Diego. Yeah, sure, we'll go. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, yeah. We're in. You know, yeah. Right, exactly. You want to go? You yeah, need some work done. Let's see if, he, see if he, I can figure something out. <laughs> right. I can carry the paint. How's yeah, exactly. Paint? Excellent. But, um, yeah, primarily we're Cleveland painters. Yeah. So. so, folks, if you're listening, if you're listening to us on the radio right now and you're thinking, you know what? I want to paint that bedroom. I've been saying this for years. I want to paint the downstairs. I want to do this. I want to do that. There is no excuse. This is fortuitous. You're listening on the right day at the right time. This Saturday, here it is. How do they get a hold of you guys? The easiest way is to give us a call or a text. Okay. And so, obviously, it's a 423 number, 299-5667. And so, that's the office number, but they can also text in with that Can they well. find you on the web? Um. No, they didn't email us. There so it's go. easy. Rob at perfectpaintpros.com or Jeremy at perfectpaintpros.com. Yeah, there perfect. We go. We so there you go. Websites. There you go. <laughs> Their computers all have paint on them. Um, <laughs> so that's how they get a hold of them. Give them a call. Let them come out. Free estimate. Um, now, with what other services do you guys? When you, I know painting is a pretty general thing, but when you're talking, what are pe- what do people most miss or not think about when they're calling somebody out for paint it's probably the repairs you know they're not thinking about that they're not thinking about the prep work that has to be done and then the other thing is if you're doing like say a remodel say we're not just doing a paint is doing things in the right order obviously if you're about to put in fresh carpet let us paint first yes you know and so it just saves it'll actually save you money because that time of us protecting your carpet saves you that i mean we're going to protect your old carpet anyway we're not there to make a mess but if you got brand new carpet or brand new flooring or whatever, we're going to go above and beyond on that to protect it. I think I see that a lot where we, we get called in a lot on um, DIY projects that have gone bad. <laughs> right. And what happens is because of the, the explosion of LVET flooring, mm-hmm. right. people are like, oh, it's click lock. I can get down there. And you know, I mean, you really can. I mean, you don't need a ton of skill to be able to knock out a room in a day if you've if you got a helper. Right. you got somebody who can help you cut. The problem is, is everybody wants to do that first because they don't want to leave that subfloor exposed. And they're like, all right, now we got to paint. And I'm like, well, you just spent (laughs) two grand, you know, buying all this new flooring to now have to spend another 300 bucks putting plastic all over it. Right. You know, paint. Guys, no one cares if you get paint on your subfloor. The only person that's ever going to see it is me when I go pull up that subfloor later for and give you a new floor down. Don't do think that there are things done in the right order. Um, it just makes it just saves yourself again time and time money. and money absolutely and in in our business what I know what we bill for 
And what you guys built for is time and money. That's how we all get a check. That's how we all get paid, feed our families. So, folks, you got two local boys. They're not, now, are you guys Bears or Raiders? No. Oh, are you allowed well, to we say? Cleveland. We're Raider fans. You're Raider fans. Yeah, oh, absolutely. there you go. Well, that yeah. explains the blue shirts. Yeah, exactly. I like it. I like it. So, uh, there you go. I don't have a dog in the hunt. I, I, I'm married to a Bradley Bear, so uh-huh. I have to... I have to say, bear, go bear. Right, right. Uh, anyway, so I, I've been asking this. This Obviously, this is a question we've had now for um, the last, what are we, in day 200 of quarantine 2020? Oh, yeah. How's COVID affected your uh-huh. guys' business and what you guys do? You know, we haven't really seen much of a change. You know, I mean, it affects us more on where we go to eat lunch. Yeah, <laughs> you know, absolutely. absolutely. You know, it makes you know that peanut butter and jelly is a whole lot easier to make in the morning because we don't have as many options. But um, yeah, I mean, we've been busy. You know, is it being essential? You know, we've been around the whole time with construction, um, paint stores, which we talk about that later as far as where to get paint and stuff like that, and um, how you can educate yourself about that. But um, yeah, it hasn't really affected us a ton. You know, we've been doing a lot more remodel projects which make us feel a whole lot better because we're not in a house that somebody's living in. Yes. We have had a couple of customers that did have COVID. Um, we just had to postpone until they get through the quarantine phase and everything. And then obviously just try to minimize our contact. Now, do you guys, do you, do you guys spray a lot? It just all depends on the situation. We do it, you know, we do both spraying and, you know, brush and roll as well as other, you know, type I don't know if, if you guys have been into it, but you know, you wear your respirator and stuff when you're spraying. Have you seen it hard to, oh, yeah. to come up with the filters Absolutely. and everything? Absolutely. You yep. can't they like you go into Sherwin Williams or somewhere and it's gone. Like yeah. everything's off Wiped the shelf. Out. Yeah, yeah, get on Amazon. Yeah, you can get one delivered by Thanksgiving. <laughs> right. And that's because I'm a prime customer, right? <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah, we're in there with like a air compressor blowing out the filters <laughs> yeah. and everything, trying to use those. Absolutely. And we had a pretty good supply of them. And then um, Natalie works at Erlanger. Yeah. So when it all started, you know, we were like, here, if you can use these, take these. I'm going to keep me one. Yeah. And let's see where you can do more good, you know, that kind yeah. of thing. So. Well, that's awful sweet of you oh. guys. Look. Oh. Well, we got to keep her healthy. There you, know, you so. go. I see how it is. Well, listen, uh, guys, we got Rob, uh, Rob and Jeremy here with Perfect Paint Pros. Perfect Paint Pros. Perfect Paint Pros. Uh, they're going to be stick around with us. So hang around. Don't touch that dial. We'll be back here in just a little bit. We're going to talk about uh, interior painting when we come back, what they offer, but also what can we do? What are things that that homeowners need to know if you, or even renters, people that want to just spruce up where they're living? Uh, What are some tips? We talked about where to get paint, where, what's the best paint to get guys. We're going to answer all your questions about painting. You're glad you're listening. Come back with us here on home solutions on mix 1041, 1013, the buzz. Welcome back everybody. Home Solutions. I hope everybody's having a great Saturday morning out there, no matter how you're listening to us, or maybe you're watching us on Facebook. Dennis, Rob, Jeremy, all here today. I've got Perfect Paint Pros in the house. We're talking all things painting. This segment, let's talk a little about interior, the inside of your house, what the things that uh, people don't see when they drive by, but it's it's the place we're in most of the, spend most of our lives. A little fresh coat of paint can brighten things up. We've already talked about in the last segment, about repairs um, that that's you know you guys can include those as part of your estimate for drywall she rocks some little repairs to holes in the wall that sort of thing um, what's for folks that are giving you a call and say hey I want an estimate you give them a price you get it set up it's it's the, the day before they come what are the what, what helps you the most as far as furniture movement what do you what do you guys suggest for folks well we are grateful when uh, pictures are off the walls, just all the knickknacks are away, Creo cabinets, china cabinets. Pianos. Uh, <laughs> piano, yeah. we don't, uh, we'll move china cabinets, but we'll take all the china out first. Yes, right. absolutely. And uh, basically, uh, we come in, drop the whole place, tape it, paper it, whatever we need to do to get it done. When you say drop the whole place. Uh, Remember, sure. some folks may not know what you're talking you about. Know, you're not yeah. you're not dropping anything but drop cloths. Drop correct? cloths. No China, there you go. Right? Yes. Exactly. No, we're not dropping china. No. Um, and you know, you, you have folks if they've got a bunch of furniture to maybe put it all in the center of the room. Yeah. If we're not yeah center or if we're painting ceilings, we're gonna have to get out of there. Yeah. But doing walls, you just need about four feet. 
from the walls, and we're good to go. Now, do you guys include plastic drops and stuff in your price? Absolutely. You know, there's it's specifics. Yeah. 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 And this is another reason why having someone come out and do an estimate and not just give you a square foot price over the phone yeah. because you don't know what you got to protect. You don't know what's right. in that house. Some, if there's a gun safe... Yeah. Yeah, it ain't moving to the garage, (laughs) right? And if it is, my back ain't doing it, (laughs) right? And and also expensive things. You know, we all got insurance for that kind of stuff, but let's not test it out because of the China. Correct. Yeah, we We want to keep everybody happy. Yes, people aren't happy for breaking their stuff. (laughs) Typically, they get upset Uh, about. I've noticed that. (laughs) Right. Right. But if you do have stuff broken, give us a call. Pro 93 Home Solutions. (laughs) Shameless plug. Four five eight forty one thirty five. No, so. That uh, So for everybody out there, maybe they're driving right now. Maybe you're on your way to one of the box stores, one of the paint stores in town. Um, and I don't want to, I don't want to make you make anybody, somebody mad, but if you were painting your house, where do you guys go? Where would you guys go to get paint? If you were somebody that doesn't have a background in paint, where's a good place they can go in town that'll give them some education and maybe help them through the process. Yeah, you know, um, we're Sherwin Williams people. You know, we are too. We, um, you know, we get paint at the big box stores. But if I go into Sherwin Williams, those guys, if I've got a question, if they don't have it, they get it. And for us, a lot of times we go in and we know exactly what we want. If you're doing your own thing, you may not know exactly what sheen you want. You may not know the difference in the qualities. And those guys are always super helpful over there. So let's talk about that. All right, Jeremy. Say this customer comes in and says, um, if somebody's wanting to walk into a paint store, you, you said the word sheen, it's the finish, you know, what it's going to look like, how it's going to finish when it lays. Um, you want to do walls, what kind, of, what kind of paint do you want to do? Because these are the questions people don't want to ask because they feel stupid asking them. Sure. And, you know, somebody, they may not even know these things exist. <laughs> right. And again, paint goes from low quality to high quality, and it's dependent on if it's a, you know, flip house, you're going to get rid of it quick or... Want to put a lot of money into it? You're going to stay there forever. Use a nice, uh, nice high quality duration. Yeah. Uh, sheens. These walls look flat to me in here. Yeah. Flat seems to be the trend right yeah. now. Flats walls. At yeah. least for the walls. You yeah. Know, the advantage of flat is it's super easy to touch up. You yes. come back in a year, you can touch it up. Nobody can see that you did it. But it doesn't clean as well. So if you're over there scrubbing spaghetti stains off, you're going to see that. Whereas the more sheen, the easier it is to clean. The harder to touch up down the road, right. though. So you go from flat. What's the next step up for folks? So satin or eggshell, depending yeah. on the paint, and then you get into your semi glosses and then glosses. Usually, you don't see the glosses except for on trim. Yeah. And so a semi gloss on base. And they um, also clean up really well. Clean up, they last well. People kicking them, they bump it. It holds up a lot um, stronger with the glosses. And and if you haven't painted it out in a while, folks, we've seen everybody making the move away from oil based paints. Absolutely. Paint. Yeah. Um, and if you, if you've got an older home, um, you know, there may be some sandiness, especially cabinets Mm -hmm. and and what people don't realize is there's specialty cabinet paint that's made. There are, there are primers and bonding agents you can get to put on a coat before you put, especially if you've got an oil there. Right. Remember folks, your, your, your daddy told you this oil and water don't mix. (laughs) And that goes with paint too. It does. Um, So, yeah. So that's one of the things that people ask all the time. Can I paint over this oil paint? Well, you can't just go right over it with latex. You can go the other way around. You put oil over the latex, but you've got to do a lot of prep to go over it. And a lot of times we'll get into an old a historic home and it's got oil. We'll go back with oil. You know, it's time period. Oil is stronger, you know. Yeah. And so if you are with door frames, you're bumping into those things. So it's going to hold up better, not chip and that kind of thing. But you got to deal with the smells. It's a lot harder to clean up. You clean it up with paint thinner and things like that. So it's a little bit more invasive into just, you know, your work area. So here we talk about interiors. we got to talk yeah. about it. A couple things nobody ever wants to see. Wallpaper. Oh, oh. man. <laughs> <laughs> right? You, uh, if you're watching on Facebook, you saw their reaction. <laughs> Trust me, if you're listening online, go home and watch it on Facebook. They both went, oh, jumped out of their chair a little bit. Right. They cringed a little bit inside. Uh, wallpaper. So do you guys remove it? We do. Yeah. Yeah, you sure. do. You will remove it and paint it. Yep. What about the, the theory, I'll just paint over it? Mm-hmm. We've seen what? that. <laughs> we, <laughs> we fixed that. Yeah. <laughs> so, Why but, don't you want to paint over wallpaper? Well, if you just go and paint it, you'll eventually see the seams. Yeah. 
And so then all of a sudden you have these nice vertical stripes <laughs> in your newly painted wall. You know, there is a way where you can cut the seams, you fill it with mud, you sand the mud, sheetrock mud, not out of your yard, um, sheetrock mud and sand it. And then basically you could, should have just removed it in the first place. You'll spend just as much time Absolutely. doing that as you will just buying a bat, buying the, oh, what's it, the paper tiger, that thing they've got? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that now, I see online? Yes. Now, our experience, if you're going to do it at home, removing it yourself, the steamer is what works best for yeah. us. Yeah. And so heat it up, get some moisture behind it, and that makes a, a whole lot easier to clean, take it off. And one one thing that we've found is kind of there's, there's some old home remedies, too, to that kind of stuff. The really old stuff that was put on with a strong mm -hmm. adhesive, right. sometimes you'll get the paper and the backing stays. Right. We have found there's all these products you can buy. Nothing beats hot water and vinegar. Yeah. Right. Put a little hot water and vinegar, and that thing will scrape off. Yep, it dissolves it down. Yes, Close. and... You would prefer for folks if if you didn't have to take the wallpaper off if they did it before you got oh, there. Oh yeah, sure. You'll fix the walls yeah, up. We'll give them a little hug for yeah, that. Nice. You know, we appreciate that. But. So it's we've talked about wallpaper. Let's talk about another one. There's a lot of older houses in town. It was I grew I grew up in a house that was my grandmother's before. Want to guess? Paneling. Paneling. That was going to be my guess. Paneling. Yes. Like I'd look back at my baby pictures and I'm like were we in the same house for all of these pictures? And they're like, no, everybody just had paneling. And I'm like, ah, I realized number one, we were poor. Uh, no, but it was, it was, it was all these pictures of that because I was 20 years later, I'm going to see, and then we still got the paneling. Same paneling. Nobody did anything with the paneling. Um, and look, paneling's cheap. Yep. It's an easy application. It's a whole lot easier than sheetrock. You can go right over the studs, right over the, and have insulation. But let's talk about painting it. Sure. What's different for you guys? Uh, go ahead, Ron. Um, well, you got to prime it because it's made to be easy to clean and that kind of thing. And so paint's just not going to stick to it really well. So you got to prime it first and then before you paint it. Um, a lot of times those little grooves in it will do a bead of caulk. In it. If, you, if you're not trying to hide the paneling, just so that the paint actually gets in there, if you don't do that, it's such a rough texture that paint doesn't really get in there. And so it just makes a much better finish if you do a little bit of caulk yeah. in there. What about when folks have, they're going from a dark color to a light color yeah. or a light to a dark. What are, what are I, I think a lot of folks don't think that, don't understand that what's on your walls right now will affect the finished product looking like that swatch you saw in the store. <laughs> right, right, exactly. What do, you, what do you typically, if somebody's got a super dark color and they're wanting to go back like with a, I know this is crazy, but I hear people that are doing grays like right now. Light gray. Like a gray, maybe with a little blue in it. Yeah. yeah you know, uh, I don't know. Gray. Or every ha everything we've, as we look around the right, studio exactly. right now. I would guess <laughs> this is probably repost gray, <laughs> is my guess. So. I've learned more gray colors. <laughs> oh, Hint of beach. Oh, yeah, yeah, all these, there's, the beiges and the grays are all, uh, if you're wanting to be fashionable out there, folks. White trim, gray wall. Oh, come on. That's the new thing. It with is. maybe some, with some blue accent. Blue accent. There you go. It's you talk about wallpaper, we're starting to see a lot more accent walls. Yes. One wall with a wallpaper on it and then everything else. I didn't realize there's a whole industry in like, now it's like bougie, boutique mm -hmm. wallpaper. Yep. And, you know, textured. And oh, yeah. Like Whatever I, you want. I think, of, I, I think I think a textured wallpaper, I think of like 70s shag carpet. Yes. You know? Vans. Kind of bamboo -y style yes. and stuff. You yeah. know, it, or it was in Uncle Rico's van with like, you know, <laughs> had the airbrushed uh, the mountain range exactly. on the side of the van. <laughs> Uh, Napoleon reference twice today. <laughs> <laughs> we have those today. Well, hey, we aim to please right here. We're pop no. You do not disappoint. And you know, can we just take a minute and talk about what happened to conversion vans? Oh, yeah. When I was a kid, oh, everybody, they're back. That, are they back? Oh, yeah, well, van life. Well, yeah. You know, I mean, that's but, it. But, yeah. but, but she's like, custom. Yes. Now, yeah, I, yeah grew, I grew up with my, you know, just, you know, the cool kids on the baseball team, they pulled up in their conversion van. Oh, yeah. They take a nap between games. Yeah. And had the TV with the built-in VCR yes! at the bottom oh. of it. Yeah. And, they brought, and then they had their Nintendo that hooked up oh, to it. Man. I was, I was, I was just like, Daddy, why are we poor? <laughs> right. um, no, it's uh, – that's crazy. We totally got off yeah, on that. Like the Rico. Uh, and, hey, it's a great time because we need to take a break. Um, so, real quick, how do they get a hold of you guys if they've got questions? <laughs> they don't want to do it. They want to do it themselves. Perfect Paint Pros is the company. 299-5667. And email? Rob at perfectpaintpros.com or? Jeremy at perfectpaintpros.com. All right, when we come back, we're going to talk about the outside of your house. Mm -hmm.
Uh, you know, everybody's pretty good about tackling that inside bathroom. But what happens when you got to get on a ladder and paint oh that gable? Uh, I'm sure you guys can help them with that. We'll come back. They're going to tell us a little bit about it. You're listening to Home Solutions right here on Mix 104.1 and 101.3 The Buzz. Welcome back, everybody, to Home Solutions. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Dennis Purvis with you, as always, from Pro 93 Home Solutions. Got any handyman remodeling, cleaning, or you're looking for that smart home security system, maybe you want a doorbell camera to check on those Amazon deliveries, give us a call, 458-4135, right here in Cleveland. We'll be happy to help you. Today, I got Rob and Jeremy from Perfect Paint Pros here in their matching attire. I love, look, man, I love it. I'm a branding guy. Oh, yeah. We even got Pro 93 Beautiful. masks. Oh, yeah. 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 Branding. Yeah. Um, but what we're going to talk about now, we've talked a little bit about interior. Let's talk about the thing everybody sees, curb appeal. Absolutely. Um, exteriors. Yeah. You guys do exteriors? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, interior is usually the thing people call us about first. Yeah. Because they're ready to just kind of upgrade, update the home, get the new grays in, that kind of thing. Exterior offers a lot more because it's also protecting your home. Yes. And so that's a big, it's not just about the looks as much out there. It's keeping the weather off. It's keeping the wood from rotting, that kind of thing. So it's, um, makes it look good. But it also has kind of a whole other function there as well. So talk about folks that maybe they're maybe they just want to do their their facial, they're soft, and they just want to maybe add a little trimming. So they're going to try to do it themselves. Mm-hmm. What do they need to think about, Jeremy, when they're going to think about exterior paints? Mm, being safe. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good point. F- excellent point. There's not not too many ranches being built these days, is there? No. No. And even so, those you still got to get on an eight foot, at least a six or eight foot ladder yeah. to get up there. Prep again is uh, is key to all painting. Getting uh, getting everything cleaned up, pressure washing before you paint. If you got mildew on the house, and uh, plan on you know buying a case of caulk. You yeah, because things have separated. Any little holes, things like that, you want to fill that up. You know, if there is a loose board or rotten wood, go ahead and replace Change that. Out. Yep. And also, yeah. guys, uh, you know, if you're while you're up there, you see a separation in your gutter. Ooh. If you don't have seamless gutters, silicone. Listen, don't buy the siliconized caulk. Don't buy. There is only one thing that will keep water out or keep water in, and it's silicone. And guess what? Um, put it on the inside of your gutters, not the outside. <laughs> right. Okay. Now don't caulk up those holes you're going to paint with silicone. No. Because it true. will not, will that's not true. stick. It yeah. won't stick to that. There are There is paintable. There is. There is. There is. But when you're talking about gutters, guys, yeah. on the inside of your gutters, use silicone. Um, we used to be able to, I caulk those gutters. Hmm. Yeah, right. You know how the caulk in your bathroom looks right now? <laughs> Multiply that times a thousand. Exactly. Right? Every time it rains, it's just eating a little bit more away. Yes. Um, so you guys, let me ask you this. Yes, we. I have gotten more calls lately about people wanting to paint or lime wash brick. Oh. Hey, that's our deal right now. You guys now. take care of all that? We are, is, it we, not, is it crazy how it's going? It is is, cra- we've got a guy for that works with us that's lime washing a fireplace inside right now as we speak. Fantastic. So, yeah. And so we do the ones that are kind of with the paint and stuff, but we also do the traditional lime wash. Yeah. Lime and water. It's great. It, um, you know, no algae grows with lime. Insects don't come in with lime. It's fantastic. And the other thing, too, is you can kind of, the repeated coats of lime wash are going to bring you a different, it's kind of like each time you lime wash, it's a di- It's like you did it all over again. Exactly. It's a different shade. So yeah. it's really up to the customer dealing with them. And I know, you know, we had somebody asked to do it. Now, honestly, I, I, we were just like, no, we don't. Because she, she was in California wanting to come out um, and wanted to do it all over the phone. I'm like, ma'am, I don't know what it is you're looking for. Right. And I know that I can do it once and we can do we can do three coats. We can do it four times, whatever you want to do, depending on what shade you want. But it changes so much. It does. But it seems to be kind of, again, like the grays and the whites right. and the blues. Everybody's wanting to lime wash everything. Yeah, now. hide that brick. Yeah, exactly. Well, listen, I just learned something. Now I know who I'm calling. Next time I get that lime <laughs> wash, I'm like, you know what? Let me give you a, the number to paint post. Ro- and that number is? 299-5667. Or email? Rob at perfectpaintpros.com. Jeremy at perfectpaintpros.com. Listen, free estimates, folks. Let them come out and help you. Don't get up there and fall off your roof or fall off a ladder. Let them come over and fall <laughs> off the roof. Or, um, what's what are the things when you're when you're estimating uh, exteriors? What are the other than height, elevation, those sort of things? What kind of things do you guys look for? Yeah, you gotta look at um, shrubs, 
you know, yeah. you know, just as far as protecting those things. You know, we don't want to be over there stomping on your flowers and that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. And so, you know, kind of taking care of those. You know, then you look at, you know, how many doors you have, those things factor in. And so I'm just kind of being able to get to all the parts of your house. That's, you know, let's, let's, you brought up, let's talk about doors. Doors are another, are another one of those things. People think it's easy to paint doors. Well, I got a prime door over here at Lowe's. I'll just put it in and throw a, just paint, take a brush and get, hmm. Yeah. Painting doors is, it, it has its challenges, correct? It does. It, you know, because there's so many little grooves and indentations and everything in there. You know, if I see, a lot of times we'll see one, you know, the bottom of those indentations, two little drops of paint in each one, I would have just all ran down and collected right there, you know. Yeah. And depending on what's on there before, a lot of times there's more prep on a door. Yeah. And especially if you then get into a wood door where you're going to be staining it oh. and you're going to strip it and that kind of thing. So it can be pretty tedious. What do you suggest for folks that are trying to paint a door for themselves? How do you apply the paint? You go foam roller, roller, brush. What do you tell folks? You know, um, foam roller is probably the easiest for a do-it-yourselfer to give you a consistent finish on there. Buy exterior paint. I yes. can't tell you how many times I've come on somebody's painted their front door and they just went and got regular old wall paint and put it on there. <laughs> and it's, it's fading. I mean, it's just, I mean, yeah. it's, it's embarrassing. I mean, you know, ex- or interior paints I see on the outside, but yeah. it happens. So. You know, you talked earlier about Sharon Williams. I'm I'm working on trying to get Woody in here. Oh yeah, Woody's great because he's yeah. he's so shy and backwards. Oh yeah, I don't yeah. know that it'll do. Quiet, I don't. I don't know that yeah. it'll really be good on the radio. You know, <laughs> right. for those of you who don't know, we have, take your job. We're kind of blessed here in Cleveland. The Sherwin Williams here, and and I'm giving them free advertising because we're we're contractors with them as well. We're set up with them. But, and, and the reason we are is because of the service. Yeah, and absolutely. Woody and his crew do a great job. So, Woody, if you're listening, you got to get in here. Give me a Thursday. Give me a Thursday to get in here. Um, all right. It's almost time. Oh, boy. It's almost time. We're going to be cramming through this next break. Now, listen. Every week we do a little game called Mythbusters here. Um, hopefully we're not infringing on any copyrights. I don't know. If so, call Steve Hartline. No, <laughs> um, no we are. This week's going to be Mythbusters Painting Edition. Okay. So the way it works, guys, very quickly, when we come back, you're going to tell me if these myths that I've prepared, and I think, I got, I think I'm going to get you today. Uh-oh. I think I've got good myths. Or I am gonna, I'm going to take the cover off of your all scheme. <laughs> all right. Everybody should just be painting for themselves. They don't need no painters. No, listen, folks, we're, we're going to come back. Uh, stick around. Don't change that dial. If you're watching, we'll be just give us a few more minutes here. We're going to have some fun in the final segment. Playing a little Mythbusters paint edition. I got Rob and Jeremy here from Perfect Paint Pros right go. here in Cleveland, Tennessee. You're listening to Home Solutions on Mix 1041, 101.3 The Buzz. Welcome back, everybody, to the final segment here. We're going to take you all the way to the top of the hour here on Home Solutions, Mix 1041, 101.3 The Buzz. Dennis Purvis here. From Pro 93 Home Solutions. Just want to take a quick sec- second before we get back to our guest to talk a little bit about our cleaning division. I know as, as we're starting to come out a little bit of the quarantine and the shutdown here, as folks are getting back to school. If you want to get your office, maybe you're getting back to work, you want to get it disinfectant, we do light, light commercial, light office uh, cleaning. Uh, we've got a whole segment of our business that's devoted to residential and light commercial cleaning. Our team is they're fantastic. We've got, uh, and we even offer green, uh, green cleans, meaning no chemicals. It's all organic, and I'm telling you, some of this stuff that we use is better than anything you're gonna buy on a shelf. It is, uh, the, and our team takes it very seriously. We've got, take a look at our, our Facebook reviews, uh, Google reviews. Uh, we're on Home Advisor with our reviews there. Our clean team is never got anything but a five star. So. If you're out there and you want to just get a disinfectant, if we can come in and do a quick, just the floors, counters, the high touch areas, do some disinfecting, uh, now's the time. Give us a call. Uh, we can set up a one time deep clean or we can do a recurring service for whatever you need. 458 4135. And you can check it out. One of the pages on our website is devoted to our clean team. Uh, you can give us, you can check it out at pro93homesolutions.com. So there's my shameless plug. Now it's time to play the game. Back to the paint. Back to the painters. I got the painters here. So, first of all, before we even get into it, how many times do you guys pay for the sins of others in your business? There's a lot of um, painting over things that we do. (laughs) (laughs) Well, we feel like we're just erasing some history in there, you know? Yeah. 
bringing it all up to date for sure. Well, and then there's the old stereotype. I remember um, years ago, somebody was telling me, it's like, uh, um, you know, if your painter shows up on time, you know, he just, he's, he, he's got the wrong day. <laughs> right. And uh, if he's sober, he's really got the wrong day. <laughs> yep. um, but yeah, it's a, it's a, I grew up, my uncle was a painter and he, the hardest thing for him was, you know, you can't expect your workers and the folks that work with you to love your company as much as you do. Sure. But he, just the turnover and trying oh, to keep man. guys and everybody thinks they can paint. Mm. Or they tell you they can paint. Oh, oh I've man. painted for years. Yeah, exactly. You're going to know in about two minutes. You tell by the way that somebody holds a brush. Oh, yeah, oh, what brush they have. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. The There's a lot of yeah, exactly. Don't buy the little kit, uh, you know, <laughs> big box store. It's not going to work. You know? They've got their metal pan. With their oh, man, and, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's still in the plastic. Yeah. And my thing I tell people all the time is never trust a painter that's not carrying a rag. There you go. you're going to make a mistake. Yes. And if you can clean it up right then, life's so much better. I tell our guys all the time when we're finishing up a remodel of a bathroom or a kitchen, you know if you you know if you clean it, you know if you clean it when we do it. Right. It's a whole lot better than when you let it dry. Yes, you know? Absolutely. And if you clean it up when you, when, when you do it, I might not see it. <laughs> right. They don't even know. Yeah. They don't even realize it. All right. Here we go. Right. It's right. time, everybody, here at Home Solutions for a little game we like to play, Mythbusters Painting Edition. I've got Rob and Jeremy. Are you ready to play? Uh, let's do it. Game is very simple. I'm going to give you a myth that I know for a fact to be true because I heard it from the them. They told me. Oh. They told me, you got to tell me if it's confirmed, which means <laughs> once again, I win or busted to be truth. Truthful is uh, I've gotten one half confirmed in all the months of doing this. Pretty much all my myths get busted. So today <laughs> I put in extra homework. Okay. I'm going to get you guys today. Are you ready? We are ready. You know, y'all keep telling me about primers and things. I'll just put on a bunch more coats of paint. I don't need no primer. Oh, what do you think, Jeremy? I think that myth is busted. Busted? <laughs> Why, Jeremy? Why do you need primer? Well, primer covers up all the uh, crayon marks on the wall. Yeah. Stickers, all that good stuff. Yeah, definitely some extra properties in there to cover up. Yeah. Earlier you were asking about um, taking a dark room yeah. and turning it light. You can put on four coats of paint to do it, or you can do a coat of primer and two coats of paint. <laughs> so, yeah, prime it. They're paying you for one less thing. Exactly. And if they've got brand new sheetrock. you got to prime, or you'll yeah. see all the mud. Yeah. Or if you're exterior and you're painting over wood, and you just paint over it, all the knots will come through. The tannins in the wood will come through if you don't prime them. And there's specific primer for wood, yeah. by the way, for the do-it-yourselfers out there. All right. Bust it. Myth number two. It's impossible to paint when it's below 60 degrees. You don't even need to call anybody to do it. You're wasting your money. Uh, yes, exterior, we stop painting when the snow falls. So 60 degrees is still okay. You're good to go. Most paints are um, good to 40. Yeah. We like to cut it at 45. Um, just because we're going to play it safe. We want to make sure the bond's there and it's going to last a long time. Gotcha. And what happens when paint gets too cold? Yeah, it just doesn't bond properly to the substrate. So what do you think about the cold weather paints everybody seems to be advertising now? It usually starts about the October. Oh, yeah. Halloween. Yeah, they're like, paints. hey, we've got cold weather paints right, right here exactly. in stock. You know, there is a product that we have used from Sherwin. one share our plug again with those guys. That is, it's designed to dry faster. Yeah. And so if you have a smaller window of sun, you can do it. But... I don't trust, I said 45 degrees, let's not go below it and play it safe, not waste our time and money. So, so if you want your outside painted, yes. call us now, You 299-5667. Yes, give them an email, maybe shoot them an email at? Jeremy, Jeremy. at perfectpaintpros.com. There you go. Here we go. I don't need tape or any of those fancy cut-in tools. I can just cut it in with a brush. I've, ne I've never painted before, but I know it. How hard can it be? <laughs> right. I color between the lines. Oh. Um, this is, I think probably this is the myth. This is the thing that gets the DIYers. It is. Rolling paint. You can, it, it, honestly, you can teach somebody to roll paint pretty quickly. Yeah. When it comes to trim and cutting in, 
What, what, tri- what do you guys do? You know, we cut in. You know, we do tape. Some people, you know, you run, especially it seems like the old timers. I don't ever use tape. Well, like, well, have you ever sprayed? Well, I tape when I spray. So there's a time to tape. <laughs> so there's you a tape. time and yes. a place, you yes. know. So what our standard is, because we do it every day, so we're all warmed up, we tape um, baseboards. Because when you're rolling, if you don't, you're going to get speckles on your yeah, baseboard. absolutely. So we do that to keep things clean. Other than that, unless it's just something really tricky, you know, we're going to just um, freehand that. But you go in all the time where somebody, edge of a door frame, yes. it's classic. Half of it's covered in three different colors of paint. Yes. You wear it, and you're like, <laughs> it's a coat of many colors. Oh, it is. That is literally a little rainbow of flavor <laughs> over there. And so, you know, use the tape. These things are out there. And, and taping is a skill. Yes. You know? And so you can't replace the skill of a trim with an unskilled tape. You got to pay attention to your tape. But if you're um, a do it yourself or that doesn't have that steady hand, tape everything and it'll look like a pro did it. Yes. And that's, you know, you, there's a reason why you see painters and professionals buying tape, <laughs> right? They don't, you guys don't sneak in there at night and <laughs> right. take it off the shelf so nobody, I don't want anybody making fun of me. I'm buying yeah. tape. We're, we're not too proud to uh, tape. What do you think about all these new little gadgets they got that? That you know, yeah, I need to experiment. With, they've, got little, they've got those little, they got those little, you know, trim wheels. Yeah, you see them, and I'm all, I, and look. I hate to cut in. I don't have a steady hand. I don't like it. I can't color within the lines. <laughs> right. That's my. That's the, the reason. That's right. the reason. Right. I'd I'd rather scrape wallpaper because at least oh. I can see progress, and I'm I'm right. I know I'm gonna have to fix it. I don't. You know, I'm good at demolition. I'm great at breaking stuff. Right. When it <laughs> comes, to, when, 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 when it comes, when, yeah. When it comes to paint, I, yeah. it's just. And a lot of it is just, the other thing is, you got to have a little bit of patience. You do. And I am not, that is, you know me long enough to know that is not my strong suit. Right. I want to slam that uh, thing. Yes, there you go. Um, so that's, that's the, I think the big piece is that there are these, there, there, there are some tools out there. I'm sure some of them have some legitimacy. Yeah, absolutely. But with anything, and you talk about the skill of painting, folks, when, you, when you're taping off corners, tape to the corner. Don't tape <laughs> half on the wall or you're going to pull the tape off and go, and here's the other thing. Don't use masking tape or get there's blue painters tape. Yeah. If you've got hard, especially if you've got any kind of hardwood or something finished, you put masking tape on there for too long, you're gonna pull that up and take that finish. You'll be calling Robin then back out to stain. Yeah. Go ahead and buy what, new tape. Yes. Don't get the tape out of the attic that's yes. been up there baking oh, for you know, a decade. Just waiting to turn some sort of uh, chemical reaction exactly. with whatever you got there. So just get some new tape. And the sooner you pull it off. The cleaner line, you know, it's not going to pull off whatever's underneath it that it bonds to there. All right. Got another myth for you. All right, let's hear it. And look, I know this one's legit because I heard it from my uncle's grandma's niece's uh-huh. babysitter's daddy. Okay. Who knew a guy who painted once. <laughs> so I know this is pretty pretty legit, pretty credible. Uh, all those types of paint you were talking about. It's all a scam. You don't need to pay for better paint. Mm-hmm. Just get the cheap stuff. It's all the same once you put it on the wall. You want this one? That's easy. It's like a softball question here. It definitely busted on this. Oh, all right, on, busted, Dennis. busted. Come on, Dan. So you're saying that there's a there is a difference between the forty dollar a gallon and the twenty five dollar a gallon. Oh yeah. Absolutely. And so what? Tell the folks out there that need to know what what are the differences. So a lot of it is coverage. As far as both um, covering up what's behind it and then also how far it goes. So a quality paint, you know, will go, you can paint more with it. It it spreads out further. Um, Dries. And then it dries better. You know, a lot of times if you get the, um, just the water paint, um, you'll see all those roller lines and everything on it. Whereas a quality paint dries and everything smooths out as it dries. All right. Last one here, I think. We're getting close to the top of the hour here. Last one. All right. You don't ever need to paint your ceiling. If it was painted when the house was built, why repaint it? That's just a waste of money, isn't it? It's a waste of money. We don't like waste of money. But there's a time to paint a ceiling. Yeah, and what are those times? Well, I mean, usually when we get called to paint it, it's because they're about to sell the house. Yeah. They realize that there's 30 years of somebody burning a wood stove. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, another thing, you're talking about the lime wash being kind of a big push right now. The other thing that we get calls on nonstop is let's get rid of some popcorn. Oh, and, my gosh. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> let me, can I, I, I want to jump in. Somebody else, yeah, I want to jump, I want to, I want to jump in. Yeah, I want to jump in here because we get a ton, that's the thing. Yeah. 
So, so eighties, that was the thing, man. No, man. Popcorn ceilings. People are about now. Those folks are selling. A lot of those houses are on the market um, because hey, let's be honest. When you're building a house, you're finishing a ceiling. It's a lot less work to put popcorn up. You put popcorn up, you walk away. It hides everything. It hides everything. You don't have to skim coat. You can, you can do a sloppy job on the sheetrock, right? Smooth ceilings take time and take right. work. Um, texture hides a myriad yep. of errors. The problem is, depend, especially depending on how many times stuff that's been painted over, mm-hmm. people think, oh, that can't cost more than a couple hundred dollars to do that. Right. And you hand them a $4,000 bill to take off just one floor of their house. Yeah. Folks, go up there and see how easy it is, <laughs> right. right? First of all, it's looking up all day. It's on a ladder. You, there's no, there's the bet. You got to, you got to spray it. I mean, do I, it may, tell me we spray it and scrape it. Yeah. yeah. And collect it. Yes. Yeah, it's a mess. And then you got to carry it away. Yeah. You got to get rid of it. And it gets, it ain't like you can just scrape. I see people like, oh, you get the scraper with a little bag on the shop back <laughs> on the back. Well, that still only gets maybe 50% of it. Right. It's the rest of it's still going everywhere. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. So listen, I understand. People don't want it. Um, I understand why they don't want it. They understand that it's, that it's uh, dated and old. But just understand, if you're going to do that, it's a serious operation. And, and depending on how hard it is to come off, sometimes it's cheaper just to sheetrock right over it. We've done it. Absolutely. Yeah, we do yeah. it. I mean, it's, it's, it's part of it. So that job you're getting ready to work with us on, Absolutely. that's what we're doing. She's got it throughout. We tried. We, we gave a test spot. Nope. I mean, you, we'd, we'd, we'd spend a week down there. On a 3,000 square foot house, you'll spend a week down there just trying to get the sheetrock off or right. just trying to get this popcorn off. So, And then trying to make it look good where you're scraping everything else. Yeah, and you're going to gouge it somewhere. So, yeah. I don't care how careful you are. I mean, it's going to come off. So, folks, there's those things are out there. Um, I will tell you this. As some, as I, I'm sure all three of us will tell you, scraping a popcorn ceiling is not something you want to do by yourself. No, no. It's not something you want to do for yourself, and it won't be cheap. But I promise you, 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 you spend two hours doing it, and you're gonna <laughs> wish you to call somebody. Absolutely. So you can either call, you can either call us now, or you can call us later. So, um, so one more time, give them. How can they get a hold of Perfect Paint Pros? So Perfect Paint Pros, you can email me Rob at perfectpaintpros.com or Jeremy at perfectpaintpros.com. And just to be clear, Sorry, and we never gave you guys his actual full names, Rob. Rob Taylor. Jeremy Renner. Yep. So look, look them up. They're in the Cleveland yearbook somewhere. <laughs> right. I, I think they both graduated. Um, <laughs> close. Close. Yeah. But listen, guys, thanks for coming in today. Oh man, thanks it was for it was it was fun. We we haven't had a painter yet, so it was oh, great to have somebody fun. in here to talk about that stuff. Um, next week, folks, tune right back here Saturday morning, 9 a.m. right here on Mix 104.1 or over on 101.3 The Buzz. No matter how you're listening, thank you guys so much. Hope everybody's safe. Remember, folks, we're still in this thing together. Stay safe. Be courteous. Love one another. Be nice out there. And for God's sakes, just wear your mask. From all of us here at uh, the station and uh, Pro 93 Home Solutions, we're signing off. We'll see you guys next week. You've been listening to Home Solutions right here on Mix 104.1 and 101.3 The Buzz.